All right, so let's hurry this way. Check it out. Signs of the revolution. Bullshit's what it is. Bye's dying and everyone's trying to help him. At least the Ravens ain't gonna starve. What the hell? He's in ACUs. That means he's 33rd. You think the CIA did this? Can't be. Guy's been rotten too long. Oh my god. Who the hell would do this? It's not something I want to think about right now. Heads up. Soldiers. 12 o'clock. They spot us? Not yet. We got movement! Enemy down! Head exploded. This will be so much easier to get through now that I'm doing it on normal. Not a fan of scopes. Okay, this is kind of funny to watch. In all honesty, guys. Like. Okay. For all my nerves, I'm not actually flagging the video that much. I know I normally don't use this gun, but uh, it's just a case of let's not worry about. Let's not worry about that, uh, and just try and get through here, right? This guy, arguably closer than the others, was the only one not to die. Like seriously, that was a great grenade. Every load. I'm nearly at the intel. Nearly got him. If I waited a bit longer, I probably if I took taken a few more shots, I probably would have gotten him. But I think I did well enough, all things considered. And let's let's just mosey on this way. I just have difficulty telling who's who. I'm sorry I'm not talking much, I just don't really have anything to say right now. It's just a case of... How much further do... It's just here. It's down, I'm not dying here. Okay, I'm just gonna wait. There's nothing I can really do right now. If, if I had the flash command, that would be something, but... Don't. Don't worry. They'll be back. Hey, fuckface. 
Tell the 33rd to stay down. This is helping no one. Sorry, but I answer to a higher authority than you, Captain Walker. Oh, so you remember me now? I do indeed. And I'm not the only one. Here's the intel, just down here. And I thought the gunner was still there, just not firing at, at, at the time. It's wrong to call it a storm. I've never seen a storm that could blast paint off a car. This is sand, flying through the air at 80 miles an hour. It will shatter glass, tear your flesh, and fill your lungs. Even those of us still alive have been stripped down to our bones. We got nothing but the clothes on our back, man. What water's left? The 33rd has under lock and key. A couple civilians tried to stage a raid on the cantina last night. And the colonel had them round up and shot. I tried to make myself watch, but I couldn't. And they were desperate to live, man. But if they'd succeeded, others would have died. I mean, I don't know what it feels like to execute people you swore to protect. But Conrad sure does. And he's not talking to anyone at the moment. Oh, there's that. Well, I wasn't kind of expecting me to be going through and getting all these intel bits, but... You know, it adds to the story and, like, I was bringing up the critique, like, I'm going to be going and talking about it and whatnot, so this adds to it. It gives me more to work with. Oh, and this is also useful. It gives you a rough idea of the path you go to, go through to get to where, you know, where the game ends and all that. I can see Comrade's Tower over to the left hand side. Okay, I was actually wrong. Um, it isn't. Uh, let me scroll all the way back. For whatever reason, I thought the tower all the way on the left hand side was Conrad's, but it's the tallest thing in the city. So I was, I was wondering, because I remember that tidbit, but I didn't see the thing in the back. It is the gate, right? No, no. The road, ain't it? I want I want to make sure I start the right level, because uh, it would be a pain in the bloody arse to have to, you know, start again or whatever. Like, go so far and have to redo it. Or go to a different level, sorry. So the road. Make sure, because also like it hangs on that chapter, whatever chapter you're looking at. It's almost as if they designed it to, so you can go back and forth. I like these scenes, I have to say. Like th this kind of artwork and all that, it's interesting. Okay, skip through here, and this is what I have to go do. What's going on, Walker? We were wrong. Radio man ain't running Dubai, he's just a lackey. What do you mean? It's Conrad. He did it. All of it. Okay, so what do we do? Just play along. That one girl, the girl whose face you cut out of old photographs. Well, to Conrad, America was that girl. Fifty stars, fifty states, the whole union blacked out. Don't know why he did it. Maybe it was uh, out of anger or a misguided attempt to create a symbol. Whatever the sentiment, his command team clearly disagreed. Jeff Folds, Ken Tempe, 
David Lawler. They stood up to their commander, their friend. And in return, he tied them hand and foot and burnt them alive. Makes you wonder what he'd do to someone he hated. Memorable, his psych, uh, psych profile thing. Yeah. Now next one on the rooftops. Seems it's in the bathroom. Wonder, can I just click? No. Wait. If I load the game, I have one right there. It's right there and like, you know when you have to escape the place to get to the helicopter? Yeah, it's right there. It's right in the perfect location. Okay, inside the bathroom is the intel. And that's the last one I need. Then I'm going to have to stop for a moment, go to the bathroom, and I'll be back to finish, or at least tempt that sniper battle. Lugo, the second we reach that helo, you start running. Don't worry about me. Just get there. Here we go. We've got contact. I'm not even sure where the intel was. Turns out our favorite DJ used to be one Robert Darden. Worked with Rolling Stone for years. He was the Hunter Thompson of celebrity fluff pieces. Darden had obviously tuned out by the time we got here. But looking at his notes, well, it seems he'd been trying his hand at some honest to God journalism. Notes on the evacuation cover up, the tragedy and the human cost. Maybe his time among the soldiers washed some of the bullshit off him. Who knows? But it's a genuine shame this Bob Darden will never meet his deadline. The cost of our presence here continues to grow. I'm gonna listen to that again when I come back. But I'll be back in one moment, folks. BRB. Hey, folks, and I'm back. And yeah, let's listen to that again. DJ used to be one Robert Darden. Worked with Rolling Stone for years. He was the Hunter Thompson, celebrity fluff pieces. Darden had obviously tuned out by the time we got here. But looking at his notes, well, it seems he'd been trying his hand at some honest to God journalism. Notes on the evacuation cover up the tragedy and the human cost. <sighs> Maybe his time among the soldiers washed some of the bullshit off him. Who knows? But it's a genuine shame this Bob Darden will never meet his deadline. The cost of our presence here continues to grow. There's a bit of emotion to his voice there. Again, the emotion plays into the, yeah, he's clearly humanized aspect. Just like, but yeah, basically, I'm. I mentioned the blog post three thousand words, of the three thousand two hundred words. It's gonna be longer now because I have these bits of intel. I'll use them to make a more comprehensive, um, criticism. So yeah, I at least can do that. I can at least make be comprehensive on one of the few things he criticizes. Uh, the guy, the critic, who criticized the people, like Avengers, Bloodborne, a few different things. And I haven't played, I've watched Avengers 2, nor have I seen, uh, played Bloodborne. At least I've played this. 
so my uh, criticism can be comprehensive. Also, I do have a knowledge of anime, which the guy also tried to criticize, and it can be more, much more comprehensive there. Because I watched a fair bit of anime growing up. My aunt was really into it, and as such, I've watched a fair bit of it. I've also read a fair bit of manga, and basically, I'm, I'm more qualified to criticize, uh, to comment on that than anything else. Uh, anything else than other things, is what I mean. Seems like you can only go in a flurry, then wait, you have to wait till the camera catches up, then you can keep going. There is one thing I want to see. Oh, actually, I just noticed that corpse sinking down in there. It's a guy tied to a chair. I didn't realize that. Fuck. Also, the animals are still alive here. I was curious to see was um, actually a corpse in here. Okay, he's... Now two thirds of his face is charred. I was hoping I could see something extra, but I'm getting a little obsessive here about seeing it all. But you know, this place is lovely, if only it wasn't gone to shit. Sorry for old chair creaking. I assure you, this is no game. I'm going to count to five, then I'm pulling the trigger. You're not real. This is all in my head. Are you sure? Maybe it's in mine. <laughs> One. No. I kind of, I seriously do like this line. It was your fault. Sorry, the thing's big line. <laughs> it's all in my head. Two. Are you sure? Maybe it's in mine. <laughs> Such a prick. Three. Four. I know we've already seen this before, but I'm curious to see anything else. There was a bit of controversy, apparently, over the phosphorescent scene when you see the mother, mother and child fried together. Um, the 
developers just said that's what they wanted. That's the kind of reaction they wanted out of people seeing that scene. In fact, the developers themselves had to take a break after watching that or, you know, being involved in that part of it. They just, you know, needed to, I, I assume, just go out and clear their head or something. It is a fucked up scene. I wasn't that shaken by it because I'd seen it previously. I'd known what was coming. That, not, not as much. Even there, it, it just kind of, you feel this emptiness inside. At least that's how I feel it and best I can express it. It's almost the same when I finish a TV show I re series I really like. You just feel sad there's not more. 